topic. Yes. All right. I'm so nice. Who remembers that video? Anyways, Idon versus Burkish. Uh, Brian F versus Metro M. Uh, and then in losers bracket, Zaffarino made the top eight. And uh, as far as remaining players, we still have. Okay, Mylin just made top eight. Cool. Props to Mylin. Uh, we still have Tanachi versus Wolfgang and Space Boy versus Shine. Oh, that's a tough match. Damn. That's really tough. Holy shit. Good luck to both players there. Damn, one of those two is not making top eight. Ah! That's so crazy. Oh, the shadow behind me is just a coat or something like that. I think that's a coat on a coat rock. The guys from Adorama saw this blank white wall behind me and like, Spooky, we have to send you something. Give me measurements like right now. <laughs> I was like, all right. <laughs> was, I, they don't like the blank wall. Either. I don't like the blank wall. The blank wall is boring. If I could, I would put a giant Darius Burst poster back here behind me. That would be the best. I love Darius Burst. You guys want to see cool Darius Burst toys, guys? Hold on. I'm going to show you this one. This is one of my favorites, right? It's uh, a little messed up right now because I don't really have it together completely, right? But it's Darius Burst, right? And it's uh, the blue ship. Woo! Pretty cool. And it actually has, like, the burst beam. I didn't really put it together right right now. But, ooh, it has, like, the beam. Like, fires that shit. Pretty cool. I'm actually working on getting some R-type toys and things like that. Or I was, but then Corona happened. So, I don't know about that. I also have the uh, a few other ones that I'll show you guys at some point. Oh, you like Darius Twin? My favorite one, and we're going to do the match right after this. But I got to show you guys this. I haven't even opened it up yet. But uh, I'm really excited for this one. And it's... Uh, Oh, never mind. We don't have enough time because we're doing the match. Oh, they're starting without me. Anyway, let's do this. So it's going to be Burkish up against IDOM NYC. And uh, no more of spooky stories. We're just going to play this match. I domination NYC. We'll see who's going to take this one. This is a winner semifinal. So we're officially in the top eight. I'm going to try to show you this after this match because actually I'm mad hype now. But first, we're going to do this. Burkish versus Idom. Uh, this should be a really good match. It's going to be Urien versus... I don't know who Idom's going to choose. He could choose Poison, or he could choose Laura, or he could choose Question Mark, because he's the champ, and the champs always have extra characters on there. He could have a Coley for all we know. All right, looks like Idom's player two. Burkish is player one. Round one. Uh, thank you, Combo Faint. That's really kind of you, bro. And thank you also for being a subscriber of T-Spooky. That's also kind of you. I do appreciate your direct support. All right. Anyway, Burkish versus Idom. Idom is already getting an early start with this mix. Burkish is just trying to be a face with his jump backs and his neutral jumps, but Idom is not hearing it, and that's an early stun. Damn, Golden Letters? That's how we start top eight? Golden Letters? Golden Letters? Golden Letters. My goodness. Round two. There's nine golden letters. Did you notice that? It says perfect and KO. That's crazy. They upgraded from five. <laughs> oh, I see you, Norigi. He did the five golden letters. I see you, bro. Respect. The five golden letters. Crescent EXE, there's nine if you count the KO. It says perfect KO on the screen, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Damn, the rushdown is crazy right now. Burkish hasn't really gotten a chance to play too much this game. That was a good jump. Nice with punish. Beautiful. Again. He brought it back just like that. Now he has a good lead. Great sweep. Great jump. Damn, they're both playing smart. Mm. That headbutt is ferocious. Mm. Put his hands all over that girl. Are you serious? That's inappropriate. Oh, the second hit quarter? Mm, he tried to get fancy, but Burkish was ready. See, what I like I like what Idon tried to do there. He established a rhythm of what he was doing, and then he tried to change what he did. But I also like that Burkish was kind of ready for him to do something that looked the same, but was different, and he immediately went in there with the sweep. Very nice. Darken, uh, Dark Ken Masters. Thank you, Dark Ken Masters, for your subscription, bro. Very kind of you, my friend. Thanks for joining us tonight. Overhead. Mmm. That's only that's only plus, but uh, he still took advantage of the plus to get something. Damn, another stun. Oh, extended combos. Damn, that was disgusting. That did way too much damage. Are you free real right now? Laura wins. 
All right, so I Dante's game number one. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Oh, Elmatic Aura says, this guy, Idom, is too Round good. One. Yeah, bro, this guy, Idom, really is too good. So good that he beat everyone in the world. That's real. The whole world combined to play Street Fighter, and he beat all of them. $250,000 arm bars. Oh, my goodness. Another, mm, and it's done. And that's disgusting. Please do, uh, please do the same combo. Oh, my God. He did almost the same combo, but instead he went for a reset. Damn, that was a cross-up? I'm surprised that he blocked that. Has he really not lost a tournament since Capcom Cup? That's pretty insane. <laughs> so he just wins everything he had, my goodness. That's like... Daigo status. That's like some Daigo old school shit. Yeah, I just won every tournament I entered because I felt like it. One, two. Mm, come to me. I'm tired of your rushdown. His sweeps have been really good so far this set. Oh man, taking advantage of the reset to jab out. Ooh, ooh, damn, I think that was a punish. That was godlike. Berkish. Wow, did he backdash or did he throw too early? That might have been a backdash. Oh my god, this is bad. Again, one more stun. He had to block. Jump back strong. He saved himself. Aegis, good placement. Wow, nice trade. I dom. This is actually mad scary now. All right, he's charging up. He has one more Aegis stock. It's going to last for a while. It's going to last pretty much until he feels like you. He didn't get a chance to use it. No, that must not feel good. Lara wins. <laughs> he didn't get to use his second Aegis. That's rough. All right, well, Idom advances. So he makes it to top three, guaranteed tonight. And he'll be getting a nice piece of those Matcherino dollars that you guys have been contributing. Uh, thanks, everybody. We do appreciate it. And we're now at $164. Yeah, it's it's Idom, the Dragon Ball Fighters player, the star man. He plays Dragon Ball Fighters now, if you haven't heard. Actually, it's funny. Earlier today in the stream, we were talking about how there's going to be a DBFZ tournament. And he was like, man, you know DBFZ is laggy. And he plays everything online. So when he says that, I'm a little bit scared for you DBFZ guys on Saturday. I don't know what's going to happen to you guys. I'm sorry, everyone. Anyway, we're lining up for the next match right now, guys. Uh, uh, Nova Prime, thank you very much for hitting that exclamation point match arena in the chat. You guys can see the link. Uh, the code is save NOBC4 for free donations. A uh, half of what you guys donate tonight will go to Henry Center Next Level. And uh, the other half, of course, is going to go directly to the players, the top three or the top five tonight. And uh, what's good, Frog Blog, Dog Frog? What's good, homie? How are you? Uh, DBFZ is on is on Friday, the Star Man. And here's all the info on all the tournaments. If you want to see or if you want to enter yourselves, guys, you can enter. Uh, we'll be putting up the next week's NLBC very soon. But in the meantime, you can also check out DBFZ on Friday and Ground Blue Versus on Saturday, guys. Thank you, everybody. We do appreciate it. Also want to save your